Oh, right now that we were able to bring in 20,000 of these. These were just introduced on the 21st. We are now down to fewer than 5,000. Wow. Originally it was 6,000. Now we're down to 5,000 for the rest of the season and then it's gone. Yes. The, the presentation on these, the give back, if you will, Absolutely. of what you're able to do for the environment yes. with these. Plus, we have four easy pays, Stephanie, as you know, of only $5.91. You are more than welcome. You're getting a three-piece collection here mm -hmm. in the two-in-one. Asclepius. Asclepius. There you go. Butterfly Perfect. Garden. Um, don't ask me to do it again. <laughs> the easy pay here is also going to go away at the end of the day. And the unique packaging, there not the traditional pot, yep. uh, really makes it even more environmentally conscious. Absolutely. Isn't yes. that cool? Those cocoa fiber pots that I'll show you a little bit later on yeah. that you don't have to do anything. You just put that entire thing into your container or the earth. Couldn't get any yes, easier. Yes, couldn't get any Let's easier. Let's talk about the seriousness Absolutely. Of this, if you want to. Yeah, I would love Stephanie, to. Please. So this is the three-piece, <gasps> two-in-one Asclepius. And what you're looking at here is just the bright, beautiful colors of this collection. This is actually the very first time that <clears throat> it includes this bright yellow. And here you see a mass planting of the orange. But what's so important about this plant, Pat, is that it is the home to the monarch butterfly. Here is a swallowtail. So not only are the monarchs going to be attracted to this plant, but all of your butterflies, all Many of your varieties. pollinators will be coming and feasting. But what's so important about the Asclepius is that it's the only home, it's the only plant that the monarchs will come to lay their eggs. And then once those hatch into caterpillars, it's the only plant that feeds those caterpillars. This is the only leaf that wow. they eat. So what that means is quite literally by planting this in your yard or your containers or your balcony, you're helping um, sustain the monarch population. And I want to just stress that over the last 20 years, the monarch population has decreased over 80%. That's so sad. It's, I mean, look at yes. that caterpillar there. I mean, obviously this is the evolution. Yes, that's, that's before the beautiful monarch. Mm -hmm. You have to start with a caterpillar and then it goes through the chrysalis. And then you get these beautiful Asclepius uh, flowers. And we were mentioning before the show that this is also known as milkweed. And a lot of us, actually my good friend, Jeff Meyer, here who also sells uh -huh. at QVC, right. he was telling me that he grew up with milkweed and seeing all the beautiful butterflies. And, I, and he was like, but it was very tall and it was kind of far out in the, in the forest. This collection was bred to be a little bit more, com more compact, much more compact and more bright, beautiful colors. So yeah, not only colors is it a feast for the monarchs, mm -hmm. it's a feast for our eyes and a feast for our noses because the fragrance is so sweet. It's that floral fragrance that we all know and love. So we're going to walk you from what you're going to get in the beginning, but doesn't that sound enticing? And gardening is really about creating an environment so that we could give back. Imagine this, if you were a teacher, if you yes. have, you know, young neighborhood kids or, you know, to be able to share that reality, I think yes. you can read it in a book, but when you see it and you have that witness, and I think it's so awesome. I want to just stress, no matter if you have a farm or an estate or a balcony, we can all do our part by planting these um, to help the monarch butterfly po population come back into a steady um, number because like I said it's dec decreased a lot over the last 20 80 years. 80 percent is really and scary. National Geographic actually came mm -hmm. out with an article in December that said we us as Americans if we plant this we are doing our part. This is what we can all do to help give back butterflies. Give back. So yeah, you're going to get three of hey, these. Eric I know <laughs> you all were very very excited about the yes. new the cocoa, cocoa fiber pot. Fiber yes. pot. Mm -hmm. It's good for the environment because we figured that people that want to help save the monarch butterflies, maybe they want to help save the environment. No plastic Absolutely. pot to, to just throw in the trash. Mm -hmm. Just plant the whole thing down and the roots will come right out. Yeah. And Steph, you can see how they're coming out of Yeah, I'd love bottom. to show that. I mean, don't be afraid that your plant will be sort of confined because these roots are nice and strong. And you right can see they're it. already coming right through. I'd love to show you, Pat, just how easy they are. To All right, while plant. we go over and show how to plant, yeah. if you wouldn't mind, let me give everybody an update. Please. All right. Mike, we started with 20,000. That's what you were able that's, to bring us all season is, yes. about one week ago. We're down to 4,500 now, and I'm smiling because yeah. at the beginning of the show, we had 6,000. We're yeah. helping. 4,500. You know, you can count on our QVC yes. shoppers. I just want to say, yeah, thank you so much. I knew because you all would help. Not only will you be beautifying mm -hmm. your gardens Here, and your, yeah. your decks, but you're also really uh -huh. doing a great thing for the monarch butterflies and for, the, for everyone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, in the same 
time. It's yep. simple. It's something that you could do without a lot of space. So, so pot yes. size doesn't matter. Um, it's however big you want your plants to get. This is about okay. a 12 inch container, which okay. is a pretty good average size. But you put them in the garden bed too. Yeah, okay. absolutely. So you can put them in the ground, yep. you can put them in a container. So again, I just wanted to show that okay. these roots are coming out from the bottom of this cocoa fiber. And this cocoa fiber is a new thing that we're trying here at Roberta's. So by placing your order, you're kind of telling us that you like them because we think right. that it's a great idea and it saves you one extra step and it's great for the environment. You don't exactly. have to do anything but plant this right in. Yeah. Absolutely. And then you're going to take your water and your bounty um, all-purpose plant food. Oh, there's a camera. <laughs> this is sort of a, the all-in-one. You yeah, have right. to use this. You Brand should use this, this exactly, on all of your plants, your edibles, your fruit. And then from this, indoor, outdoor, and yeah. there's the information yeah. for that. Thank you so much, everybody. And you're getting three of these. That's right. I mean, how nice would this be? Mixed I, up. There's mixed colors in yes. each pot. So each pot will sort of look like the pots that we have. Yes. That's what you're mixed exactly. colors. And I love what Court suggested earlier. You might want to, maybe you'll start this and you'll give it for, you know, Mother's Day or Father's yes. Day or for somebody's birthday, but get that butterfly guide. So, oh, oh that, was, that was a I good idea. One. Yeah, because yeah, you're going to get lots. That up. You're not going to just get monarchs. That's you're right. The swallowtails, the painted ladies. You how long has it been since you saw a butterfly in your garden? Oh, Here's an opportunity to yes. be able to really a lot of motion out them. there. Yeah? You, yeah. you really, it's like Lots almost like the, uh -huh. the windmills that they put, plow in hard cells because right. people like motion in the garden. Mm -hmm. You get that, but it's Naturally, alive. Naturally, they're just coming in. So do you yeah. know what happened yeah. to all the butterflies? No. Well, what's happening, folks, it's kind of sad, is that in the United States, in the Midwest, where they're prevalent, yeah. we're spraying out our crops mm -hmm. with Roundup because now we're planting Roundup ready corn, Roundup ready beans, and these are, are wild, the milkweeds are wild in that area. Right. And it's oversprays and it just oh, knocks them out. So now the butterflies right. have nothing to eat. So if you plant these, right. they will find it. Absolutely. Right. They, they have part. their little radars and they come mm -hmm. right to your backyard or right to your, de your decks or balcony. Now, will this be something that will come back year after year? Oh my gosh, absolutely. This is winter hardy down to negative 30. Oh wow. So that's really, everyone in the US right. practically can, can plant these and do their part. And again, here you see that beautiful monarch. And what my uncle Court loves to, to say is, you know, we have a new townhome here in Pennsylvania and we have these planted, we have kind of a woodland area. So we did a mass planting back there that we won't really tend to, that's just for the monarchs. Mm -hmm. And then we also have some in containers that we can have up front because they, they are a beautiful plant. But pick up multiple sets and you can achieve this beautiful Look at that. mass planting. That's on the Apollo pink um, with that beautiful monarch butterfly. So the colors I should expect are yeah. pinks and golden. Yes, and, and orange and as orange. you see here with that beautiful uh -huh. swallow wow. tail. Um, and Pretty again, amazing. I wanted to just stress, not only will the monarchs be coming, but all of our pollinators, all of your different butterflies. How much sun do I need? Um, the more sun, the better. Uh, okay. That will help bring these beautiful flowers to fruition in those bright, bold colors. And about average water. You know, if it rains once a week during the summertime for you, that's enough. But if not, just, you know, water okay. it maybe just once or twice. water it down. Yeah. All right. So here's our update. As we said, we introduced this to the tune of 20,000 last week. Mm -hmm. We are down to 3,500 wow, now, thank you and so then much. they will be gone for the season. Um, yeah, yeah, our QVC um, family here. They're the, great. Yeah. You guys are Aren't so they? great. And really, you're mm -hmm. doing your part in helping save the monarch mm -hmm. butterflies because over the last 20 years, the population has decreased 80%, which you kind of, if you think about it, it's that's not very, 20 years is not very long. No. I mean, I've been, I'm 24. Right, right. So I remember seeing monarch butterflies, mm -hmm. but my niece, who's now eight, you know, she doesn't have as many memories of seeing butterflies out I in the garden. I remember being a kid in that furry little caterpillar and oh lots gosh. of them. But yes. I, I know in my own garden, I don't see all that many butterflies. Here's an opportunity to be able to really get that. Mm -hmm. So if I'm going to plant it in a pot, do I bring those back in for the winter? No, or? you don't have to. I mean, okay. unless you're living in a very cold climate, but these are winter hardy down to negative 30. Okay. So you can leave them in the containers and um, they'll come back year after year. And I love what you mentioned earlier about maybe you're a teacher or maybe you have yes. kids or grandkids. Plant them with those, with your children, with your grandkids and help them learn the cycle of life with the right. story of the monarch butterfly and the caterpillar and the chrysalis. And again, this is the host. This is the home of the monarch, Pat. So what that means is this is the only plant that the monarch butterfly will come and lay its eggs. And once those eggs hatch into the beautiful caterpillars, this is the source of food for them. Now we had the butterfly bush earlier, which is another right. great addition to the 
to your garden that you can have just the most beautiful butterfly garden. But this is the home, whereas that might be the restaurant for them to go and right. eat at. This is where they're coming to stay the night, you know, to sleep over. This, this is the end. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Remember, this also has easy pay, and you're all welcome, even if you're a first-time shopper with us. And I know it may seem strange to shop this early for your plants for a lot of us because it's still cold and maybe even snowy, but these will not ship until it's an appropriate time, so you will get results the very first year. They yes. come beautifully, uh, appropriately packaged for you. These have the new cocoa planters around them, so that'll make it even easier and you will get the planting guide so you'll know what you're doing absolutely yes. do you mind if we go to let's see is Emily it Indiana and Emily Indiana that's where we're from <laughs> hi Emily hello well you fit right in here you do. what part Here's of Indiana uh, in Evansville right uh, in Evansville. on the Ohio awesome. River that's okay great. terrific well, uh, last year I ordered these plants and along with uh, the other milkweed that I have, I've been a monarch butterfly uh, watch for many years, oh, cool. and I had over 70 caterpillars oh, wow. that I gave that I gave to schools and doctors' offices. Oh my God, as that's as, awesome! Thank you Emily. so much, Emily. That's yes. amazing. And uh, and I don't know if you're aware, but they're the scientists who uh, figured out where uh, the monarchs come from: Canada to Mexico. It's yeah. called Flight of the Butterflies, and it's a wonderful, beautiful, true story. Absolutely. Thank you so much for enlightening us, and I'm so happy to hear that you had those those beautiful caterpillars because oh, then they emerge into those yeah. just beautiful. And Emily, from a what? chrysalis. The, the chrysalis. They form a chrysalis, not a cocoon. <laughs> correct, correct. You're right. It's yeah. a chrysalis. Yeah. I and love. it's real bright green with a gold stripe yes, running through it. That's right. Emily, how lovely that you shared that with others so that they could experience it. So we could take that moment we always talk about and really appreciate, yes. you know, nature and the miracle of nature. Absolutely. And I, awesome. I encourage anybody uh, to order this because I really had good luck with it. And uh, it, it just brought me hours of joy. Wow. And look out, it's coming back again this year, Emily. Yeah. That's the nice thing That's about right. it. Thank you Terrific. so much. Emily, it was lovely to meet you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Well, you know what? You could not have said that better. I mean, I, I there's know, someone who has this. She had over yes. 70 chrysalis. That's amazing. Uh, cocoons, but chrysalis yeah. <laughs> is what you correctly call right, it. Right, right. Um, and she shared that with mm -hmm. kids and doctor's Absolutely. offices. And that's just fantastic. All right, here's our update. We started with 20,000. Final 2,500. And then, wow. then, then it's gone. Yes. We will not be able to have any more for the season. So really important for you if you're interested in this in the slightest. That's and crazy. This is, probably this is only the, the second day we presented these two. Oh, Another one. Yeah. 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 And that's what we know here on the queue and hopefully you will know too that you need to order these things early. They right. don't ship out until it's an appropriate time. Very and good point. this probably is one of the easiest plants. Yes. Because now you don't even have to get rid of the pot. I know. You just right? put the whole thing. Isn't that lovely in there? And then you'll have the growing guide so you'll know what you're doing. So decide whether you want them in the ground or whether you want them in a pot because they'll work both ways. Yes, absolutely. That's Beautiful. True. And this is just one plant after... First season, you could have first this. season. Yeah, so this wow. is a great representation of one collection after mm -hmm. the first season. Wow. And like you were saying, Pat, these mm -hmm. will come back year after year. Their winter already down to negative 30. So, you know, by planting them, they're a power perennial, as my uncle court likes please, to say. Yeah, power perennial okay. means it comes yeah, back strong that. every year. And yeah. please consider planting these, whether you live in New York City and have a terrace, yep. whether you live in the suburbs like we do and have a nice yard, not huge, or whether you live on a farm or an estate and have acres. Pick up several sets. Let's Absolutely. all do our part to help the monarch butterfly population. Love. All right, 2,200 remaining for the entire season. That's it. So let's talk about the map yep. because this hopefully will give you the confidence to shop. Yes, so we know where you live when you place your order because of your zip code. So just find yourself here on the map and your area of the country is associated with a ship week. So that's the week that you guys can expect your plants because we're just going to ship them at the very right time to plant them. And we have a Gotta Grow guarantee, so when you're happy, we're happy. So we will assure your satisfaction. For